Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Subnuski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel for another LumaFusion tutorial. So in this one, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do handwritten animated texts in your videos. It's very easy, but you are going to need another app to get this to work in LumaFusion, and it's gonna run you $9.99. I'm kidding. You guys, you know I wouldn't do that to you. Of course, it's free, and the app that you need to download is called Sketch. So go ahead to the App Store and download that. And we're also going to utilize the screen record or screen capture in your iPad or iPhone and if you've never done that I'm gonna walk you through right now how to make sure that you can do it and show you how to do it so let's go ahead and jump right on into it all right so after you download the sketch app and this is the icon right here we are going to go to settings we just want to make sure that we're able to do screen record and we do that by going to control center Go to Customize Controls. Now, if your screen recording is up in this bar here with a minus and a red dot, you're able to screen record. If it is down here with a green circle and a plus dot, you need to activate it by tapping on that green plus dot and then you'll be good to go with the screen record. Okay, so now what we wanna do is actually start the screen recording. And if you've never done it before, it's very simple. Let me go ahead and widen my angle on the camera. This way you can get a better understanding of what I'm doing. The only thing that you wanna do is take your finger and drag it diagonally down from the right-hand corner of your iPad. So I'm gonna do that right now. And you have to do it rather quickly. So just like this. And that is going to drop down this additional menu. And the screen record is going to be the circle within the circle right there. So you tap that and that is gonna start the countdown and you just hit the screen again and that is going to get rid of that blur. And then you're going to see a red icon up here with that circle and a circle and that means the screen is recording. So let me go ahead and tighten that shot. So now what we wanna do is launch sketch. Now, if you've never launched it before, it's going to ask you to agree to its terms of use and to have access to your photo roll, go ahead and hit yes. So now what we want to do is start a new project by hitting this orange circle right here with a scribble. And we want to choose the HD right there, and that's going to launch a new project. So the way that we get this to work in LumaFusion is we use it as a green screen option. So what we need to do is to turn this green. So what we're gonna do is go to the color wheel, choose green. Now we're gonna put that button to fold that menu away. Choose the paint bucket icon and just tap the screen and that is going to turn the entire thing green. So now what we wanna do is decide on of course, what we're going to write and the color that we're writing it with. So I am going to choose the marker icon right over here and I'm going to choose my color. I'm just going to keep it nice, plain white and simple. So I'm gonna choose white. However, if you wanna choose another color, like let's say you like this aqua color and you're not exactly totally happy with the exact tone, you can always hit the color wheel and fine tune and tweak that coloring. But I do wanna stick with white, so let me just choose white. So now I wanna hit the marker icon again. I'm gonna choose this bigger icon right here and that is going to bring up the properties window for that marker pen and I like to have it at about 12. So I'm just gonna pull up the sizing to about 12 right there and I'm gonna fold that menu away again. So now what we wanna do is begin our writing process, but sometimes this app can be a little sticky. So what I do to get this to work is to hold my pen down on the iPad for three seconds, and then I start writing, okay? So I'll show you what I mean. Put it down, one, two, three. Now I'm just going to start to write what it is I want the writing to say, and I'm writing the lover's tree because my video is of the lover's tree in our town where if you carve your initials into it, you will be together forever. And then you just stop the screen recording the exact way that you started it, okay? And by the way, if it doesn't work the first time that you go to stop the screen recording, I've done it where I've, I keep hitting it and there's like a white, it keeps going like that. But that's okay because when we bring it over into LumaFusion, we can always just crop that out. So it really is no big deal. Now let's go to our photo roll where it was sent just to make sure that it is nice and smooth. Okay, so let's skip down to where the writing begins. Oh, 
nope, I have to do it again. You see how it just appeared on the screen suddenly? Okay, I am going to go back and do it again. I'm just gonna pause everything because you already saw me do it once, so. Okay, and you can see this is from my photo roll. I finally did get it to work, but it did take three times to do. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you're using a free app. So let's go ahead and I send everything to my iCloud. So I'm gonna save it there right now. I will go to my iCloud and just send it right to LumaFusion. Now remember, whenever you're working with video, before you do anything, it's important that you do all of your color grading and LUTs before you start to chop everything up and do anything else. So there it is, there's the lover's tray. If you carve your name on here, supposedly you will be together forever. I don't know if that's true or not, because I don't know anyone that actually carved their name in there, but what we wanna do now is go and get that video. Okay, so here it is, here is the screen record. I'm gonna drop it right on top of the timeline to layer it up. And now I just wanna to get to where the writing starts right there. Just barely, okay, we're gonna snip it and throw this part away. Now we just wanna grab this, lift it and pull it this way. And of course, you know that if you hold it a little bit over the screen, it will bring you to the very beginning of the timeline. You just have to be patient to get there. So now I just wanna see where I wanna drop this. I guess right about there. So now what I wanna do is double tap on that because we wanna get this into the green screen properties. Now how we're going to do that is by going to color and effects. We go to the key for chroma key, hit green screen, and we'll pull this forward a little bit to see the how intense I need to make it. Now what you can do is blend this to make it perfect. All these little values right here are going to make your image perfect. Saturation and brightness. You know, I think it does look kind of cool, just really choppy too. So it's what your preferences are going to be as far as that goes. So what we can do is leave it like that if you wanted. If you wanna leave it that big. But remember, because we had done the screen record, you can see the little icon bar on the side of the Sketch app. So what we wanna do is definitely get rid of that stuff. All that's gotta be chopped and go. I just wanna pull out the whole video and make sure it's beginning where I want it and ending where I want it. Okay, so I wanna double click on that again to bring us back to the properties window. Now what we wanna do is go to this icon right here, frame and fit. So now we're gonna to go to cropping and we just need to crop out those areas. So we're gonna pull it in from the left and we can drop it down from the top, drop it in from the bottom and let's just roll it out to see how far we need to bring it in from the right. This is going to give us a very clean image. So now what we can do is go to size and position. So now we can shrink this down, we can twist it, we can put it anywhere that we wanna put it at any size. You just need to decide where, where exactly you want it. I think I just wanna leave it right in the middle. That's a good size, I think. Let me go ahead and look at it. I heard about this tree when I was in high school. Thank goodness I didn't carve my initials into this tree with my boyfriend at the time. That's a whole story right there. So actually, you know what? It, it's a little drawn out, it's a little slow. So what I'm going to do is double tap that and Take it all the way to the beginning. Now what I can do is go to speed and reverse and just make this a little faster. You drag it up to like one and a half. That's even a little too slow. We'll do two and a half, see how that works. We'll go to the beginning. Okay, so I see here there's a little problem at the end. 
So where this ends right there, we're gonna cut that, make sure that's highlighted, chop it, and get rid of that. Okay, so there you go, it's totally nice and clean. And that looked good, but I wish the end, maybe we can make that fade out. What I'm gonna do is cut that right there. So now I wanna highlight that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, the speed icon, now I'm gonna slow that down an eighth. Okay, that's good, because what I wanna do now is go to frame and fit. Now what I wanna do is go to blending. Go to the beginning, add a keyframe, and now we wanna go all the way to the end and go to zero. This way when it leaves the screen, instead of just dropping out, and we could also do that with the beginning, but I kind of like the way it just comes in with the writing. That was perfect. And of course we could always make that shorter as well. We could go back here and go to the time and just eke it up ever so slightly and see how that looks. Actually, that was perfect. Well, that's it guys. That is how simple it is to add a little bit of handwritten text over your video in LumaFusion. Oh, by the way, my next video is going to be a review on this lavalier microphone that you've been listening to. I'm always on the hunt for the very perfect lavalier microphone, and this is the Boya lavalier microphone. So what do you guys think of the sound from it? Okay, so keep your eye open for that review. And thank you so much for joining me. I always appreciate every time you guys tune in to watch one of my videos. So until next time, wear that sunblock.